I don't know why it's so hot in this room so recently. It's just always hot in here, just muggy. And that's, it's yucky. That's my word, yucky. Yep. Today we've got something kind of different. Um, and it's a hidden, hidden security camera spy HD camera. Yeah, and this one's this one's different because it's not like one of these little mini ones or anything like that. This is actually a, as you can see here, a home security nanny cam with low light night vision, and it's and it's kind of hidden inside this alarm clock, right here, alarm clock. So we're gonna take a look at this. It says like 4K and 1080P. We'll see. We'll see how it is. Coming in right now on Amazon.com about $55 with, with a little 5% off coupon. So that's that's also cool. Coupons are good. Um, so we're gonna crack open the box, see what it looks like, capture some footage, see what that looks like, and uh, that'll, that'll be today's video. Yeah. All right guys, so here it is. This is the box that comes in. HD Wi-Fi clock camera. Nice and simple. It is it is what it is. And as we can see on their website here, $55. So four and a half star ratings, uh, 42 ratings in total. So that's that's not too bad. Uh, looking at their, their photos, we have a picture of the clock. Um, obtaining a fair evidence. Don't use it to record your affair if, because that's, don't do that. Don't have an affair in the first place. That's what you should be not doing. Uh, night vision, motion detection, and that's probably one of the big ones here, motion detection, full HD lens. It does say, it's funny, right? So you click on this, full HD lens, 1080p high quality, but over here it says 4K and 1080. So a little, little curious to that. Clock camera, so it is, it is an alarm clock, so that's also good. And wireless Wi-Fi remote. Now, what this could be cool with as well, if this is how it functions, my guess would be, is this could even be good, you know, it talks about nanny cameras. So if you're someone that wants to make sure that your babysitter is looking after your kids or not doing anything bad in the house, very cool. But it could also be really good for those of us that travel when travel becomes a thing again. And we want to make sure that, you know, the housekeeper or anybody that comes into the hotel room that you're staying in isn't doing anything that they shouldn't be. So you could kind of place this somewhere, just looks like an alarm clock, and have it kind of recording. That That's actually kind of cool. So let's, let's crack it open. This is the box, HD Wi-Fi clock camera. That's it, that's all it has, IP camera. Very, very simple. As well, I guess, as, as, as it should be, I'm guessing. So if we take the top off, okay, there's a couple pieces of tape here. Just kind of give those a little little slice. Hopefully that'll, there we go. And we get a user manual, Wi-Fi user manual. Actually, font-wise, pretty good. Uh, it shows you where to put your battery card slot. I'm not sure if it comes with a battery. I'm hoping it does. Looks like, I'm not sure what kind of battery it is, but I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, download the HD Wi-Fi Cam Pro app. There's a QR code, so that should get us there. And a bunch of instructions. Now, there's some screenshots here. If they actually expect you to read those, no, that's, that's not happening. Come on now. Look at that, that's tiny. They should have added a couple more pages and made these bigger. All right, anyways, we'll, we'll peruse through that, I guess, down the road. Um, we do get a memory card, so that's good. Little 32 gig memory card, excellent. We get a little cleaning cloth. It's very stretchy, sweet. We get, what is this? We get a little kind of remover thing. I'm not sure what we need that for, but it's there and Okay, we get the camera and we get the, well that's kind of nice. We do get a little, you get the power, so that's good. Again, not so many, not all of them are actually giving us this kind of stuff. So I'm always, I'm always happy when you open the box and you're like, it actually has the little adapter to plug in because we get these, which is great, but that's it. Now you can see this is a mini USB, so not even micro, definitely not USB-C, it's, it's mini, but 
cable. It looks like it's decent length, not crazy long, but decent length. And we get like a SIM card removal tool. Okay, that's 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 everything that's that's in there. Put that over there. And last but not least, we get the little tiny. It's just a little tiny guy, right? A little tiny alarm clock. That looks all right. It has a little QR code on the top there as well. This is where you're going to charge it, which is what I'm going to do. Now, my guess is this back comes out somehow, which maybe is what I need that SIM card removal tool for. Where does it come out? I don't know, but this back panel has to come out somehow because how do you put your memory card in? What we're going to do is what, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this a bit of a charge to make sure it's got some charge to it because I don't even know where you power this on. Little speaker there. There's your mini USB. There's a bunch of little slots, but what are those for? I don't know. All right. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to peruse through the manual, see how you crack this thing open, and uh, you and I will, will be back. There it is. It looks nice. That's not going to be conspicuous at all, actually. And it's just before I go away. Like, there's no way you could look at that and say, oh, there's a camera lens on there. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect there to be one there. That's hidden very well. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to do some perusing. I'll be right back. All right, so I think I've figured some of it out. I think on the back here, there is, it's hard to see, it's just a little tiny, almost looks like an indention there. It's a little tiny slot right there. And maybe that's what this is actually for. So this kind of goes in there, right? And you just kind of, kind of pop that, pop that out is my guess. Now you could use this little guy, you could use a SIM card removal tool, whatever you kind of get in there to, to go. Now this uses, uh, I think it's called an 18650 battery, which is kind of nice because you can get these online. They're really inexpensive. So if this ever decides to die on you, not, not a concern. You can, you can get these all the time. So that, that's, that's a little bit of okay. Um, there is a little, what is this? On off switch right here. You do have, because you have to open this up because this is where you're going to get access or where you're going to be able to put your uh, SD card in here. So we got our 32 gig card. That's going in like, like so. And like I said, it does have an on off switch back here. So you have to take that off, but you will realize nothing, nothing's happening because there's a little tiny plastic thing here. You guys see that? And that's of course to stop the battery from discharging while it's sitting in the box. So now when we plug that in, my hope is that if I turn this on, there we go. Rocking and rolling. All good to go. SIM card tool is for this little button here. So what I'm guessing is if we push this, what happens? Anything? There's a little button in there. I'm guessing it's the reset button is my guess. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna keep the back off. I've downloaded the app already, okay? So I've downloaded the app. We're gonna open this. This is it here, HD Wi-Fi Cam Pro. It's got Pro in the name. That's That's gotta be something. Yeah? All right, we're gonna add camera. Sure, allow all using. Okay, configure device. Okay, this looks like a lot of stuff we have to do here. You have a new device that needs to be connected to your home for Wi-Fi, or you need, all right, so we're gonna do this, I guess. Open mobile phone and connect to this network. Okay. I'm with you so far. My guess is it's this this guy here. Seem to connect to that, right? Because it's was would like to connect. Yep, sure. So I, I think we're connected to this. That's good. Okay. Add online camera. I'm just gonna kind of go down the list, I guess. Phone connected device. Your device has been connected to the router. You need to add it to the app. Please select this. All right. Name. I'm gonna call it alarm, alarm clock. Input camera ID. I don't know. Scan QR code. Okay, does this have, a, it does have a QR code. So you see a QR code right there. So we're gonna do that, ready? Scan QR code. Yep. All right. 
That's good. I got a ding ding, so make sure that's useful. Okay, cool. I guess it changed time, and it's got 9:45. Um, but just as a just as a little bit of a thing here, that's 9:45, but that seems PM. This is definitely 9:45 AM. So I might have to look at that settings. Time settings. All right. Yeah. So it's got time zone is a little wrong here. So I'm gonna click that, and we'll just kind of go through here. So we are Eastern Standard Sync Phone. My hope is that'll kind of go through. I guess. Uh, user settings. If I want to set up a password. Okay. Uh, alarm alarm settings. So motion detection switch. Yep. Alarm push. Alarm vibrate. Motion detection. Sure. SD card settings. Seems to have it record time minutes. Uh, five is good. Video stream. So you got 1080 or 720. Video mode. Throw video, not video. Throw alarm video, time. I don't know. Throw video, sure. So an SD card format. Now it's because it said 4K, but I, I don't. There's no 4K kind of coming up there. So just so you guys are, are aware. Um, that's kind of all the settings. We have camera, pictures, playback. So this now says you can see online. So if we tap this, connecting, and there, and there it is. Right, you guys. Actually, as far as picture quality goes, that's actually not too bad at all. Let's actually, we can go full screen. That's, and, and this is in a room that's not fantastic, right? So that's actually not too bad. So if I were to hold this record button, right? That doesn't seem horrible by any means. It's a little stuttery, but you'd be able to come in here and get that. Yeah, that's all right. And then you can just kind of stop it here. There's your contrast, brightness, microphone, SD playback. So much going on, There's so much going on. But it probably does require, and again, if you kind of peruse through that user manual, which I, I haven't really gotten into it much, it probably does require you to have this connected to a 2.4 gigahertz network. No, I have a mesh network that's up there, so sometimes they have problems with that. I should probably pick just the standard 2.4. But I was, I was somewhat impressed with the actual, oh, there it goes, back online. Good, nice. Playback from your phone or from the card. You can try to choose back and forth. All right. And I could go back here. Yeah, I think that's, 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 it's upside down now, but I think that's pretty handy actually. I do like the fact that, I don't know why that's upside down. There must be something I set to flip. I gotta play around, I gotta play with the settings. But I do think, you know, for you guys, right, you guys will see that right there. It's not crazy wide, but the image quality that it's getting is actually considerably better than I thought it would get. Like, that's that's okay. That easily can pick out what's going on. It says 4K, I don't see anywhere where it can do 4K. I don't I don't see it. But 1080 and that 1080's that 1080 is decent, right? And you can like, focus focus is good. Focus distance is about arm's length away. All right. That's handy, I don't mind that. Okay guys, I didn't want this video to get too long. Just realize, uh, this could be really cool for you and I going on holidays, or if you are have a babysitter or a nanny or someone in the house that you're just like, I'm a little, just I just wanna be sure. Kinda set this up as a little clock. Yeah, a lot of settings. A lot of settings in there, so kinda tinker around in there just to get everything going. But other than that, the back, like I said, Battery, SD card, use use this to pop the door off. Use this for the reset button. Make sure it's charged up and you should be good to go. These little batteries, these 18650s I think they're called, uh, last a long time. They got a lot of, a lot of power to them. All right guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, this is the hidden camera clock. Security, nanny cam, whatever. But perfect for travel and look how small that is. That's That's super small, it's tiny. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave links down below if you guys are interested. Um, it says it's from a brand, the brand says ZXWDDP. I hope you're not supposed to try to pronounce that because I'm not gonna. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you think this is kind of cool. We have another little security thing coming up from them. So, like a picture frame.
more like hidden camera stuff. It's kind of neat. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Later. <laughs>